All right, well, let's get started. So first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a clean version of Stardew Valley. If you just purchased the game it, and installed it, make sure you run it at least one time. If you're unsure about that, you can just go ahead and uh, right click on here, go to manage, uninstall, and then reinstall the game. Just make sure that this cloud status right here says up to date first as your saves will save on the cloud. Once you're pretty sure that that is a clean version of the game, you're going to want to go to this website right here. This is smappy.io and I will have a link to all of these down in the description. You want to go ahead and click download and I like to do direct download so it doesn't take me the extra step to Nexus and that's going to go ahead and download there. Once that's downloaded, we want to open up that folder. We're going to open up the Smappy installer. Now this should work for any version of Smappy, so even if this is an older video, this should still work the same. Now you want to go ahead and drag and drop this somewhere on your desktop. You just want to get it out of this zip folder right here. And go ahead and open it up. You're going to see a few files. Uh, the biggest one you're going to be looking for is install on Windows if you're running Windows, or you can run the others depending on your operating system, such as Apple or Mac or Linux. But I'm going to go ahead and install on Windows because that's what I'm running on. So I'm going to double click that, and it should automatically auto detect where your installation file is. Mine is on my D drive, but yours might say C drive right here and be a little bit longer. So with this, it's saying go ahead and enter 1 to be able to install in your path. So I'm going to press 1 and hit enter. Now it's asking me what I want to do. I want to install Smappy. So I'm going to hit 1 and hit enter. Now this is going to run for just a moment and you should get this green right here. If you don't, then go ahead and do a clean install, uninstall Stardew Valley and reinstall it just as I showed right here. And once you do that, it should work. If not, try to troubleshoot it yourself by doing a few Google searches. Now, once that is installed there, what I like to do is run Stardew Valley one more time, but we need to run it from Smappy. So we're no longer going to be pressing play right here to do that. We're also no longer going to be clicking on this icon right here. So what I like to do is as soon as I have Smappy installed, I right click on Stardew Valley, I browse local files under manage, and it should bring us to this folder right here. Now what we're looking for is some sort of application file, this one right here that says Stardew Modding API or Smappy. We're going to double click that, and this is just to make sure that the game is run cleanly and we want to be able to generate a mods folder as well as a few other things. You'll notice the game will just start up normally. Now let it go ahead and start up its little thing here and we'll get into the title screen. And as soon as we see the full title screen, we're just going to close it right out. So now that that's closed right out, we want to leave this folder open. Now this folder is going to be a very important folder. So if you want to put a shortcut on your desktop for it if you want to reaccess it anytime that is recommended or like I've shown right click Stardew Valley browse local files it will take you right back to the same folder so from here I have drag and dropped the window over here to kind of stay in our view and out of the way a little bit but the main folder we're going to be focusing on here is the mods folder this is what we're here for you're going to notice that there will be a couple folders in here. That's perfectly normal. However, the first mod we're going to be installing is going to be a little technical and probably the one that most of you guys are going to be interested in, which is Stardew Valley Expanded. This mod has been praised by Concerned Ape and it's something that I just very highly recommend to anybody who wants to get into Stardew Valley modding as it expands quite a bit of the game, adding a ton of new NPCs. Now the most important thing when you guys get here is you're going to see this page right here. Anytime you're installing a mod, whether it's Stardew Valley Expanded or literally any other mod, make sure you click requirements right here. And this section right here will tell you how many mods are required. 
In this case, there's quite a few. It might look a little intimidating, but I will show you an easy way to get all of these in there so we can get Stardew Valley expanded. The first thing that I like to do is just go through and middle mouse click all of these. It's going to open them up in a brand new window. And this is just going to give us an idea of what we need to start off with. So we can close this Smappy tab right here, and we're going to start with Space Core. Now obviously, all of these mods under requirements are going to require Smappy. You have to install Smappy before you start installing mods. It is a requirement for most mods. So we're going to go ahead and click on Files here. I'm going to click Manual Download and Download. Now from here, if you are a Nexus Mod subscriber, you can do a fast download. However, I am not, so I will be doing a slow download. We're going to be waiting five seconds. Now for this case, since we have to wait for each one, we're going to, this is just another page for Smappy, so I'm going to get rid of this. We already have Smappy. But I'm going to go through all of these, go into Files, Manual Download, and then Slow Download. And then I'm going to move right on to the next one here. Back into Files, Manual Download, Slow Download. And make sure you take your time to go through all of these because the more time that you spend really kind of focusing on how you're building your mod file uh, and making sure you're thorough, the more smoothly your game is going to run. I strongly recommend trying not to blow through this and just do what you can to be able to get everything into place. So again, we're going to keep clicking on all of these. We're going to go into slow download and Stardew Valley Expanded does require all of these. So if you're here for Stardew Valley Expanded, make sure you go through and do this. We've only got about two left here. Still manually downloading, slow download. And you'll notice up in the top right hand corner, after the five seconds waits for some of these pages, it starts the download. All of these are making sure that we have Smappy installed. And as soon as this last one downloads, you will see all of these downloads are complete. And we can go ahead and close this out right here. And what I like to do is just go straight into downloads. And all we have to do is take all of these files here. We're going to need to open them up. And we need to drag and drop these folders right into the mods folder. So again, I'm going to go into here going to close out these windows really fast. I'm going to browse local files. This just reminded me that I have a window open of it. And uh, all I need to do is just go into mods and drag and drop this right into here. So content patcher is installed. Custom NPC. One thing to note if you're a little new to uh, modding here just be careful because it's very easy to drag and drop this into a folder. Make sure you're dragging it into the blank space right here. So that's installed. And we're going to go through all of these and just get all of these installed here. Now that we're at the end of that, you'll notice I didn't open this last folder here. This was the Smappy installer that we installed earlier. So we no longer need any of these folders here. And I'm actually going to delete these folders and make sure that these are still in my mods folder. Now the very final thing we need to do, which is the final step of all of this, is go back into Stardew Valley Expanded. If you remember last time, we went into Files and we're going to go into Manual Download. The nice thing about Stardew Valley Expanded is it also offers you two farm extensions, keeping in mind that both of these farm extensions are going to replace the standard farm layout. So if you like the standard farm or want that option, don't install these. However, if you want to check out these farms, go ahead and manually download those as well, drag and drop them in the mods folder, and you should be good to go. Again, we're going to slow download this. We're going to wait the five seconds. The download should start. Now this is going to take a while, so I'm going to speed up the video because this is a very large mod. Now that that has downloaded, we're going to go ahead and go back into our downloads folder right here. Also, you can just open it up from your web browser. 
but I'm going to open up that Stardew Valley Expanded, and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to drag and drop it. Now this is going to take an extra second here. There are a lot of files in Stardew Valley Expanded. And now that that has finished, we can close this out. We can go ahead and close these out. And again, we're going to want to restart the game through the Stardew Valley, or the Stardew, the Stardew Modding API. Now this is important because if you just launch Stardew Valley normally or click play, it won't run any of your mods. You will have to run it through Stardew Modding, but if you stay to the end of the video, I will show you how to make it easier. We're going to double click on that. Now this little window here is incredibly important. It's going to tell you everything about what's going on. It does look a little intimidating at first. Most of this you don't have to worry about. But I do like to, if we can move this out of the way, keep an eye on it. It's letting us know right here that we have 19 mods installed, which is great. If you see anything red that comes up here, usually means that there's an error. Sometimes that those errors don't really affect your gameplay at all but most of the time you wanna look for that. If you see anything in purple, this is important because it will let you know that there is a mod update. So once this game starts, you will notice you're running Stardew Valley 1.5.6 or whatever the version number is. You're running Smappy and everything should be installed. So you can start as normal And you will notice if you look at the map, there will be quite a few new locations for you to check out and explore. So definitely go ahead and do that. And you will also notice that all of the other mods are installed now. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And as I promised, I will show you guys an easy way to go about starting Smappy without having to go into this every time. Now this is really important, so pay attention. You want to go into Browse Local Files. You want to click at the very top right here. You want to copy this. This is going to be the path file of where you have this installed. Likely, this will be on the C drive. So once you have that there, I'm going to go ahead and drag this over. And you want to right click Stardew Valley, click on Properties. We're going to put two quotation marks right here. And in between that, we're going to paste that we're going to do a backslash, and we're going to spell this out exactly as it is. Now, if you're a little worried about that, all you can do is just go ahead and copy this, paste it right there, and then we're going to type in percent, command, percent. Make sure you put a space in between that right there. This is important. Uh, this will do a couple things. Once you click the X button right here, when you go ahead and click play, you're going to notice now it launches Smappy. The other important thing that it will do is re-enable your achievements for Steam. So if you like to get these Steam achievements, make sure you put in that piece of code. I will have the generic version of it down in the link in the description, but if you find that that is not working, just do it the exact way that I showed you how to do that. And once you've done that, you're all good to go, and you should be able to install any mod that you would like to Keeping in mind, it's dropped in the mods folder. Thanks for watching.